Welcome to a one-of-a-kind event for a first-of-its-kind honor, the Combat Anti-Semitism Award bestowed on Muslim leaders engaged in the fight against anti-Semitism. وأنا أمعن النظر في وجوه الحاضرين أرى عددا من القادة الذين كرسوا حياتهم لجمع شتات المجتمعات ولزرع بذور التسامح والمحبة. But really, this isn't just about an award. The Combat Anti-Semitism Movement and the American Sephardi Federation have brought together this unique global conversation with leaders from Riyadh to London, New York to Washington and Casablanca. This is what the world needs to have. And if we can get these three faiths working together harmoniously and well, this will ripple throughout the world in such a positive way. The Muslim leader of today, Sheikh Dr. Muhammad al isa he has chosen to build a future of tolerance and to build a future of affection and to build a future where Jews and Christians can live in the Middle East, worship as they, as they please, live as they choose. His remarkable achievements in building bridges between Jewish and Muslim communities are truly impressive. Hatred is founded on ignorance. It is cowardly and self-defeating. How should we respond? We can begin by being self-reflective. We can begin by learning about each other. We have traveled far together, physically and now virtually, and we have much more to accomplish. Together, we will not allow evil and hate to change our way of life. We will bring light where there is darkness. You have uh, become now a leader. Your visits to the Auschwitz, to the Holocaust Museum, to Srebrenica, and to all those places that represent hatred and represent destruction and you went to heal those wounds of all those people. At a time of increasing intolerance and manifestations of evil, we need to redouble our resolve and reaffirm our principles. In the time that the Jews and Muslims have lived with us, we have lived with some of the last few years. Therefore, we need to change the changes of the changes and the changes of the changes of the changes between our communities. So hopefully this hour and the inspiring messages shared has been a wake-up call that religious hatred as we know it is not a reality that should just be accepted as fact and that a different future for Jews and Muslims can be part of that change.